All right, thanks everyone for joining us tonight. We'll, um, as you guys get settled in, just feel free to um, direct message Ben if you want recording access, or if you're gonna have a question for Coach Loxley, you can start uh, reaching out to Ben now. A um, couple of just quick housekeeping items before Coach comes on to talk. Um, information to apply for credentials for the bowl game, we're just sent to your guys' emails. If you have any issues with that, let me know. Um, and tomorrow you'll receive information about a joint press conference that we're going to have uh, via Zoom that the Pinstripe Bowl will run. That's going to be on Tuesday at noon. So if you can write that down, Tuesday at noon, we'll have a, a press conference with both head coaches and both athletic directors. Um, that information will come tomorrow. And then we will have an in-person media opportunity with the coach and players at some point. Um, I'll communicate that out in the, summing, in the coming days as we kind of get through um, setting our schedule. Um, and with that said, I'm going to turn it over to Coach Loxley for a couple of brief remarks and then, um, you know, let Ben know if you have questions and, and he'll answer them. Coach? Sure. Uh, appreciate it, as usual, you guys uh, jumping on here. Obviously, a, a great, great day for the Terps. Um, a chance to, to continue our play during the 21 season with an opportunity to go to a bowl game uh, and to happen to be able to go up to New York, which uh, to be able to play in Yankee Stadium is a, a great honor for us. Uh, as a team, but even more so for our fans to have the opportunity to to drive up and, and come up and support, you know, our, our football program. And so this is a win-win for our football program as well as our fans as we take the next step that we often talk about. Um, obviously, for me, the big, the big thing that comes out of this game is the opportunity to continue to develop our program uh, with the practices that we'll be able to have here in the next few weeks. Uh, as we prepare for uh, our game against Virginia Tech. Uh, obviously, to play an ACC, an opponent, uh, with us having left the conference and, and a, a few years back, you know, it's great to have some of those natural, uh, the, the natural rivalry of an ACC, an opponent that we uh, used to compete against. And I know our players are excited about it. Uh, I'm excited, our coaches are, um, as we uh, embark on the next few weeks of developing our program while also giving our seniors a chance to, to go out the right way. Um, the goal is obviously to get to a bowl game, but the goal is also to win. And, you know, we, we're going to use these next few weeks to do everything we can to prepare our team to win while also developing our program uh, as we take the next step into what I feel is our 22 season. So um, with that, I'll open it up for questions. Thanks, Coach. For our first question, we'll go to Ryan McFadden. Hi, hey, Coach. How's it going? Um, hey. My, my, my question is for you. Were you hoping to get New York since it's so close to Maryland? And is it is a chance for uh, the team to have a much uh, bigger fan base to come to the game in person? So was this uh, was this a location you were hoping to have or it was just you were just hoping this, it didn't really you know, matter? Uh, we were happy for postseason play. And as I said, the icing on the cake for us was being able uh, for our fans to be able to get there without uh, – from a resource standpoint, being so taxing, you know, uh, we have a footprint up in the, the, the New York, New Jersey region, uh, a lot of former Terps, a lot of alum that live up in that area. So it's a win-win for us to be able to go to New York, opportunity to play inside of Yankee Stadium uh, against an old ACC rival. So a win-win for us. But, you know, going into this thing, our goal was to be able to uh, have these extended practices that once you get into this cycle of playing for bowl games allows you to continue uh, to develop your team while also, like I said, sending our seniors out the right way. We'll go to Elite Kareem next. Coach, you mentioned extended practices. Now that you know you'll have a, a date to work towards, what are some of the things that you're working on? Are there things from the Rutgers game that you saw that you feel like should be touched on the most? Um, you know, the extended practices for us basically – it, it, it's almost a, a, a leaf. It almost becomes an, another spring practice for us because we'll, we'll try to get in. I think right now, as I'm working through the scheduling now that it's official, I'm hoping to get like 12 to 14 practices in, which becomes like another spring ball um, with our players that are, you know, have contributed this year. Uh, the goal is to get them enough work for them to be prepared. Uh, we'll have our normal uh, game week prep with a Monday through Friday type schedule. But the practices prior to that will be about, we call it uh, filling a prescription. I had each position coach kind of take all of our individual players and figure out 
what things we wanted to get accomplished during these next few weeks to improve each individual player. And to me, that's the, uh, the beauty of being able to play in a bowl game is to develop the young players that maybe not play, has, has played a lot or played uh, impactful roles into the season, but getting them coached up. And so it, to me, it's like another spring practice uh, where the young guys will be the point of emphasis in terms of developing them, but also trying to figure out with the returning players that are uh, part of the game plan, getting them enough work while also kind of evaluating some things we need to improve upon and, and gearing our practices toward development. Reminder, if you have a question for coach to please send me a chat, we'll go to Emily. Hey Mike, uh, good to see you. Um, and I know you talked about the, the step forward of getting to a bowl game. Um, you know, this team has only won seven games a couple times in the last decade or so. What, what would a win in a bowl game do to kind of take that additional step forward? You know, as I said, this is actually the start of the 22 season for us. Uh, and not that we're closing off the 21, but, you know, sending the seniors out the right way with a winning season is something we've talked about. Um, it's something that we want. But this, in essence, for us and the way our schedule and how I develop our team, this is really the start of the 22 season, which is why you hear us talk a lot about development and the extra practices and the benefits of them. But we're definitely going to do the work that we need to get done uh, to put together game plans and, and kind of quality control some things the last half of the season, like we did when we got our bye week, to say what we did well, what we don't do well, and to try to get those things corrected as much as we can during these next 12 to 14 practices and uh, put ourselves in the best possible position to go out with a winning season. Uh, right now we're sitting at 500, so I do think uh, taking the next step, which we have because of the going to a bowl, but we want to win the game. There's no doubt about that. Does anyone have any additional questions for coach? You could just unmute if you do. I had one quick one, Ben, if that's okay. Yeah, go for it. Coach, um, obviously Virginia Tech right now is in the middle of change right now. Do you feel like for you as a program that gives you an advantage heading into the bowl game? Yes, for, for us, I mean, we, we look at our opponents, we evaluate them, we, we scout them. Um, but as I say, from week to week, it's really about what we do. Um, very few times is our opponent really uh, the issue. Now, we do study what they do well. And again, they're a bowl-eligible team. They've, they've had some success this year, even going through some of the turmoil. Um, they will be prepared. Uh, you know, J.C. Price, their head coach, is a Virginia Tech alum, a guy that is beloved there. Obviously, they just hired the new coach. So I'm sure these guys will show up. Uh, and, and want to play and, and really perform well uh, kind of as an audition to their new head coach. So uh, by no means are we going to this game feeling as though because of the, the change that they have, that that gives us an advantage. I mean, anything we do is going to be about us and not very rarely is it about our opponent. We'll go to Lauren Rosh. Hi, Coach. I just wanted you were talking a little bit about how, um, you know, the mindset is to not only go to the bowl game, but win the bowl game. Have you seen that among the players? I know there was a big emphasis on, you know, getting to that six win to get to the bowl game. But do you think the conversations have now shifted among the team, not just to get there, but to see progress there? You know, we've had only one team meeting since the six win because this is recruiting season for us. And I'm actually out here in Vegas. The EJ Henderson is being honored going into the Hall of Fame. So I, I flew out here for that event. Um, so we, we had one team meeting. They've had a couple of what we call PRPs, player run practices. We'll have some modified practices this week as we kind of ease back into it. And then, you know, after this week, when the dead period of recruiting ends, uh, we'll really get into our developmental practices, our game planning, scouting reports. So uh, I haven't, I can't say I have a pulse on it other than, our goal is to go win the game and find a way to put ourselves in the best possible position by how we do the things that it takes to win. And, and that's what we really use to gear, gear our uh, efforts towards. Thank you. Yep. We'll go to Ahmed Gafir. 
Hey, Coach. Um, I know you mentioned the, you know, the fact that uh, Maryland Virginia Tech, former ACC rivals, but also just the fact that, you know, regional rivals as well and um, you know, going against, you know, those local schools for recruiting and things like that, I guess, um, you know, how do you feel like that may be, or do you feel like that maybe adds additional motivation for any of your Virginia natives on the roster? You know, I, I doubt that it adds any additional because as, as we found because of what the type of talent we have in the DMV region, everybody comes in here. You know, I'd like to say that I opened up Pandora's box back in 1995, 96, uh, before a lot of people really came in to recruiting this area, but everybody's in here. Everybody's coming to get these players because this is an area that's very fruitful. And if you look across the country, there's a DMV player usually on every roster that, that really uh, has played a part in those teams having success. I think that's a credit to the type of coaching we have in this area, the type of players. And, you know, we're going to do all we can to try to keep those top players here. And one step of it is developing a program that ends up in bowls and, and, and competes for championships. And to me, this is the, the first step that we needed to take. For our final one today, we'll go to Darren Haynes. Hey, Coach. Uh, before the season started, we talked about, like, building the foundation of the program and stuff like that. And, and kind of going back to like Emily, the follow-up of Emily's question, um, what kind of impact do you think getting a win will mean to the program because you're trying to set that foundation and build on top of it? Yeah, I, the foundation to me is set in that we took that step to get us in this position. Um, we're, in, we're in a position to extend our season. We're in a position where we'll, we're able to, send the 25 seniors we uh, recognize out with an opportunity to play in a bowl, which nobody here in the program has ever done. And as I said, the, the Rutgers game to us was the end of the, the 21 season. And for us, we did all we could for our seniors. And now I'm going to lean on these 25 uh, seniors to lead us into the future. And uh, this game to me basically signifies what the 22 season will be all about. Um, as we take another step, uh, we took a, a, a big step for the football team this year, uh, but an even bigger step for our football program by putting ourselves in position uh, to, to go to a bowl game in year three of, of my tenure. And now the foundation is there and, and this is the standard that we want. And uh, it's one that we've got to continue to work toward and build upon. And this group of 25 seniors has done their part by laying the foundation. And I know I'm going to lean on those guys to help take us over the top and, and hopefully get us into where we have a winning season, which we haven't had around here in some time. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, everyone. All right, guys. Thanks a lot.